Welcome to Chronically Crocheting. I have a lot to share with you. Let's have some fun. Hi, my yarny friends. My name is Crystal and I'm on here today to share with you some finished objects, um, whips, and what's been going on. So I'm very excited and I have a new little intro. Woohoo! I've actually had this intro in the works for over a year. I just needed to film the little clip. I had put a place mark of a, a clip that I just did for my couch bed that was awful, but just to put it in there. And yeah, uh, it took me a year or so. <laughs> what do you guys think of it? <laughs> um, so sorry. I, this is my second time doing this vlog. I'm going to have to, I have to scrap the whole thing. Um, starting from scratch. I made, it was, there was just too many state mistakes in it. So, um, and I had filmed it yesterday. And so here I am today filming it again and I'm camouflaging what I'm wearing. This is a shawl I made a real long time ago. If I can find the pattern, I will link it in the description box below. Um, it's just shawl in a ball and I don't know the pattern, but Shawl and a ball is gorgeous worked up, huh? And I don't know, I don't know the color way it is. So, anywho, I'm going to get into finish objects. Um, let's see here. I've got so much stuff. <laughs> so, my first, first finished object was from, I, I finished it about 10 days ago roughly and if you remember I was working on the baby blanket and it is done the the shell stitch I got from uh, this book so um, and then I chose a border from this book so I'm really enjoying doing that just making up my own um, blankets and let's see I had it marked the border I used I have so many marked nope here it is so this the border I used is on page 171 and it is border 103 so funny. I'm glad I redid that because I believe I gave you the wrong border last time. <gasps> oh no. Nope, this is that's the right one. So anyway, the borders from this book. And this is the border I did. So it has a shell stitch in it. So it's kind of, you know, tied in really nicely. I enjoyed it. I used almost two cakes of yarn. I stopped when I got about at the end of the, roughly at the end of this color on a row that you need to stop on. And then I went into my border with the same yarn and just let it play out. And it played out quite nicely. Um, the yarn I used was from a yarny friend named Sally. Hi, Sally. I finished my baby blanket. <laughs> Thank you for the yarn. It is Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Nefflers. And then I just re-caked it up. This is how much I had left with um, from my second cake. I still have, so it's this. I still have one. Oh, no, I'm dropping it. <laughs> I still have, she had given me three. So I just love working with yarn. Um that a yarny friend had given me just helps me think of them pray for them and just feel you know like feel the love so um that's a finished object i did finally it took me forever but i glue gunned my eyes on my jigglypuff you've already seen him but i kind of the eyes weren't on but they are now and so he is 100 percent done 
Um, then the next things that have been up so much on my hook because so yesterday I released a mini a no so crochet cat pattern. I'm so excited and I released the PDF pattern for sale on my Etsy shop. And so the P and, and so I've been working on that. That's one thing, the reason why I've not been on I wasn't on there on YouTube for like 12 days. One of them was the um um doing that tutorial because after you film it you got to edit it and then film the introduction and also I was writing up the pattern and then I had to send it out to testers so one of my testers was Caroline oh what well, let me start for the first pattern tester the very first one who tested it before my other two tested it was Shannon over at the Spoonie Stitcher Woohoo! Thank you, Shannon. And I'll put her kitty cat up right there. She named it Christy, I think, after me. And use purple because it's my favorite color. So she was the very first one to test it. So then I could get it ready to send to two other testers. Um, so then I made some corrections. She gave me a great tip that I put up a little tip box to put stitch markers in and um, these certain places. So Shannon, thank you so much. I am going to link her channel in the description box below. She is a fellow Spoonie. And right now she could really, really, really use your prayers. She's in a, a very severe flare, a pain flare. She has something called MALS, M-A-L-S. Just type that all caps if you're curious. She had an ultrasound that aggravated to an extreme. And so she's in enormous pain and really could use your prayers. And, um... And those of you that are, um, well, everybody has experienced pain. So to have chronic, severe pain day in, day out is very hard to endure. And um, then you, it's scary to you get worried when you have chronic illnesses that it won't get better. Because sometimes things can put you into the next step of severity that doesn't go away or can last a crazy long time. So her channel is in the description box below. Um, and then the next pattern tester who also tested my frog pattern, but I'm going to do a separate video for that one, is Caroline for the love of crochet. And I'm going to put her kitty cat right here. And um, so she tested him for me as well. And um, she's just, just wonderful and helpful. She just finished the frog one. I said, hey, hey, are you willing to test it again? Uh, test another one? And she said, yes. And I was so excited. And so she tested him and she had a, a couple um, suggestions for me that I think help improve the pattern. And her channel is linked in the description box below. You have fun on her channel. Um, there's something going on there, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Um, I actually had four pattern testers. I can't do the math. <laughs> The next one is Cassandra at Craftably Ever After. I'm going to put her cute little kitty cat right here. And, um, and she tested my frog pattern and then said, yes, I'll test your mini cat too. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to link her channel in the description box below. And I'm going to be talking about those two here again in a bit. But they are wonderful and they are helpful and um, they are such good friends and they really, really help me and bless me. Then a next um, person who made the mini cat is Marion. Hi! And she tested most of my patterns too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marion. And here's her kitty cat, her mini little cat. Oh my gosh, thank you for all your help and edits and everything that you found. Uh, patterns could not be possible without testers because you look at your pattern 
it feels like hundreds of times and, and then everything just becomes a blur so it's just so wonderful to have friends out there that will help a girl out and I really really appreciate you guys so in this past 12 days I have made to um, one perfect the pattern and then two to do the tutorial I've made one two three four five six seven cats but these aren't the cats that I, I um I made that design like mm, six months ago and at that time I made like seven cats I mean you have to continually make edit look readjust and all that fun stuff so um, this is the cat for the tutorial He's so fun. Oh my gosh. Um, look at his ears. So you can fold his ear back, <laughs> right? It looks like he's going to prounce on you or that he's mad. And I was telling my husband, look, 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 he's, he's mad. He's, he's hissing at you. And I'm like, I realize I can't hiss. I try to hiss and I can't do it. He goes, Crystal, you're so weird. <laughs> Try to hiss. It's hard. I can't do it. I cannot pronounce a hissing sound. So yeah, his ears go back. It's uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I love amigurumi. <laughs> and so then I have these two gar. Oh, these two orange cats. Um, somebody else said a tabby cat is. What is his name? What's his name? There's another tabby cat that's uh, very familiar. And she had a tabby cat and she named it after that cat. But I can't remember. I can't pull it up. <laughs> and then these I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish because I was trying to get the pattern right. Oh, and at first I tried embroidery. But on this felt, it just, just, I didn't like it. I preferred using a pen. And then I, I went to a Sharpie pen. I still haven't perfected how I like it. These are two different. This is a Sharpie and this is just some regular black ball, black pen. So anywho, and then I made this one. No mouth. And my granddaughter will be, Grandma, where is his mouth? Or her mouth? And I'm like, ah, I need a mouth. <laughs> so... So that's seven cats right there. Those are finished objects. And then um, I'm just chomping at the bit to share with you. I have designed three more Noso Amigurami. And I'm going to put one out in April, May, and June. So, um, so this tutorial and I don't know if I'll do a pattern yet because we'll see how well the pattern does because it's a lot of work to write it out and get it all ready to be good enough to be sold and so um, but for sure I will be doing the tutorial for it and um, I was just on like like I was in a flare, but I still could crochet. You know, that's part of the reason why I was gone for the 12 days is I went into a, uh, I thought I was getting sick. I mentioned on Facebook, I'm like, I think I'm getting sick, but I never got sick. It was just a severe flare. But what was different this time was I was still able to crochet most of the time and still able to think and designing these Amigurami, these minis just help get my mind off my body and they tickled me. They tickled me. I think I have a flair for this. Um, I never in my life ever felt creative before. Like I had no style like in clothing or hair or makeup. I could, I wasn't good at decorating my home. I just never had creativity until crocheting and it's so it's exciting to at least I like them <laughs> I know everybody loved the monster mini monsters I think everybody's gonna like the mini cats um we'll see if people this is my favorite one and you'll I have to share it I wasn't gonna share it I was gonna wait because I'm I always worry that what if I share it and then I can't do the tutorial but I'm hoping because I'm making this part of there is a crochet along going on that Caroline for the love of crochet 
and Cassandra at Craftably Ever After are doing, and it's called Hashtag Amagurami Mod. And what the mod part is, is you're modifying crochet patterns to add a different medium to it. So you like make the body and then maybe you make like, let's say you make a doll and then you want for a dress, you, you, you sew a fabric dress or, um, like my frog pattern for the belly, you could use fabric or you could put jewels in the crown or it's adding a, some, it may be embroidery to it, adding beads to it, adding buttons to it. Some way to enhance your crochet amigurami with something else, with ribbon. Maybe you make a rabbit and you take ears from, um, like you get from the Dollar Tree on the headband and you use those as your ears for the rabbit instead of crocheting ears. Just, just anything like that they talk about it more in there i'm going to link their videos in the description box below and they're having a giveaway each one and if you do one thing that qualifies you can send the picture to both of them and enter each giveaway and so well how what fun it's all fun i mean i can't wait and, and then you're you're they'll have pictures at the end of everybody's make so we get to see everybody's like inspiration what did they do and then we can do it so i'm going to take this pattern because i know how i want to modify it to add something that isn't crochet to it all that to say for the hashtag Amagrammy mod crochet along, I'm taking this this guy and hoping to find what I have in my brain. So I have a doctor's appointment on Friday and I'm hoping to stop by Joanne's or Michael's or somewhere to see if I can find. And you guys, you guys are going crystal enough already. Let me see. So, okay, okay. So I'm going to share with you, these are my prototypes. One of them is done except for one arm was off because I added a round. So my next mini no so amigurami, I'd like a drum roll please. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is da -na -na -na, a llama. Sorry, they were in a basket. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I should have fixed the ears before I got on here. Oh no. So I made a llama, guys. This is the prototype one. And I realized his neck needed to be skinnier and his body a little bit bigger to make the neck, um, the head look longer and thinner. And then, um, this arm is off centered because anytime you add anything, you tweak your pattern at all, it messes up everything. It throws off everything. So I have ripped out, ripped out, ripped out, ripped out, finished one, decided, no, I need more tweaks. And then still have to, you know, after I add whatever to it, it messes up everything. So there's, it's more work than what you think designing and creating a, a no sew pattern. So that's why this arm is a little bit off, but want to know what I want to do for my hashtag Amagurami mod? I'm going to put up a picture right here of this llama. I want to get um, little mini pom-poms and put those pom-poms like that picture around the neck. And then for the flowers, I don't want to crochet teeny, teeny, tiny flowers. I want to find teeny, teeny, tiny flowers to I'm going to glue gun those down. Now, if you were going to give this to a child, of course you wouldn't do that, but I'm not. It's just for me. And also I want to make it in white. So I want to do that little necklace with some little mini pom-poms and all I have is Christmassy colors and then find some flowers to put in there, put in his hair, her hair and make this one in white to do that. Even though you could still do it in these colors. But, so these are two finished objects, but I actually have one more. I had had to take that llama pattern and um, make it. So he's not quite as many. 
So I had to take this one and make this. <laughs> so this is a five weight yarn. This yarn I got at the Hobby Lobby clearance haul and it's the Romantique. I don't know if they're getting rid of it, but, um, and then this is, um, Skein Tones doubled up because this is a five weight. Isn't he adorable? I can't wait to make this tutorial in a couple weeks for you guys. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! I love llamas so much! <laughs> and I do have two other or three other finished objects that I, I'm not going to share with you until I'm ready to do those tutorials. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. So those are all my finished objects. Um, what has been, um, what I finished and I do have two things that are on my hook right now that I'm going to share with you. So I like doing a baby blanket when my, um, when I'm just not really feeling well and I just need something simple. So once again, I took a stitch from here and I picked a yarn that was gifted. This is from Karen. Hi, Karen and Seta. Hi, Seta. It was a gift from in their God box that they sent me. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to be making this. This might be a lapkin because it's a bit bigger, even though I did, I chained 120, just like my other one. This one, this one turned out bigger. I wonder if I messed up on my stitch count. It doesn't matter. So it will be a lapkin probably. Now I use, this calls for a 5.5 crochet hook. No, five, and I used a 4.5. I like to go a little smaller. This colorway is Pixie, a mandala in Pixie, and I have three of them. And it, I don't know if it's supposed to really look like maybe more back and forth, but it's kind of bubbling up. Kind of looks like um, a popcorn stitch, but it isn't. And it's only a one row repeat. What? So there's no pattern. I'm just making it up. And then in the end, I will figure out what border do I want to use. So I'm really excited. So that is on my hook. Another thing that's going on my hook, because um, I've been doing a bit better. I mean, I still went into a flare, but relatively speaking, I'm having more good days than I did. My... Um, my Squares of Love cardigan is going to be, after this Pokemon along, going to be just one of my top, top, top priorities because it's gonna, going into spring here and it would be perfect. I, it could be my jacket. Um, I don't need it for winter. Really, I need it for the spring and the fall. So I that's going to be, you know, very, very top priority because my brain feels like it's engaging again. You know, before it just wasn't engaging. I don't know how to explain when your brain doesn't focus and doesn't engage. It feels like it's like wakening up. So um, that's going to be on my hook. And then from my, I'm having a Pokemon crochet along. And so the second Pokemon I'm working on is Gengar. I'm only going to get two done this during this along. I was kind of hoping for one a week, but that's okay. I created a frog. I created this mini um, cat pattern that I wasn't expecting, but I have to strike while the fire's hot. And so, um, but I do want to get him. He's going to be a top priority. I want to get him done. This is Gengar. I am actually placing every limb that I make as I go um, and then I will sew after I get the arms, the ears, the legs, and the mouth. I will sew them on and then after that I will make the a thousand spikes for the back. I was talking to my yarny friend Susan and she was getting so confused and I was mentioning maybe you could just stitch them on as you go but I'm, I'm just placing them with these. They come out and then as I get 
enough placed, then I'll stitch it on those on and then I'll go into the other ones because yeah, I don't this was my son's top one and there are a thousand pieces. Maybe not a thousand, but two, four, six, maybe twenty. Twenty they they all look similar. They're all almost like this, but various sizes sizes and let me show you. Let me show you <laughs> Because I can't speak. So, so you have all those. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then all of those on the back. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't realize what he was asking for. So, I'm hoping I get it done. Even if I just get the majority of it done, I'll be happy. Um... Yeah, that was his very top one he wanted. So it's just not motivating to make a thousand of those, but I'm going to do it. That's the cool thing about this crochet along is it's going to give me the push to get one more done by the end of the month. I got like five days, so I need to start crocheting. And then, so that is it for my finished objects and my whips. Um... Let me, there was two, two things I wanted to talk about, um, two other reasons besides, uh, flaring and, um, get, making this tutorial for the mini cat. There's two other things that were big that happened. Um, one of the biggest things is I have been able to go to church two weeks in a row when I went last week, right when I got home is when I went into the flare. I think that um, I pushed my body too far because just a couple days prior to that, um, I went to a ho the Hobby Lobby sale that I'm going to get into in just a couple minutes. And so I think it was too much and that's what threw my body into the bad flare. When I, when I do too much over and over and over again, um, I can go into a very bad flare. And, um, I mean, I push my body so far, so much on the tutorial where you see that I cut out, I cut it out for two reasons. Um, and one of those reasons was I stuttered. I stuttered. I've never stuttered in my life. And I, I stuttered. And I think it was because I just really, really wanted to finish everything. And I pushed it. And I should have spaced it out a bit more. But if I do that, a lot of the times it'll never be finished. It'll just never happen. You know, so like I was hoping to release um, my frog pattern by now. But it didn't get to happen. And so now it'll be a couple days. But that's actually, it probably works out better because... I'll first release it on Etsy because I'll need the link and then I'll do the video and then I'll be able to put the link in the video and it's just kind of a, a, a dance you got to do when you do that. So hopefully I'll get to do that video tomorrow and it, my frog pattern, maybe today's Monday, so maybe Tuesday I, or Wednesday the frog pattern will be released. Um, so I'm very, very excited that I was able to go to church two times, two Sundays in a row. And, um, I think uh, Saturday night, I thought maybe I wasn't going to get to go Sunday morning. I was so miserable Saturday, but I figured if I can force myself to go shopping at the Hobby Lobby Clarence Hall, I can force myself to go to church because it's so important to me. <laughs> And I just feel that um, because I've been reading the Bible every day, praying every day, I just feel like, you know, God's been blessing me and I want to honor him and I love him. And so um, we're called to assemble. We're called to be a part of a church um, for so many reasons. And um, I know a lot of us can't who have chronic illnesses. Um, so maybe you could be a part of an online church or your church around you, be a part of that online. And then if you're ever, ever able to go, you can, and you're familiar with them. And, um, but also at this last Sunday, my husband played the drums 
and I got to hear him. I couldn't see him for where, where I sat because I can't stand during praise and worship. So I have to sit and there was somebody who, you know, everybody else is standing. So I'm like, I'm going to have to be the front row next time. But my husband used to be a professional drummer. I did not know him when he was a professional drummer. And I love music, especially praise and worship is my favorite music. And I love my husband. So to he, to have praising God and he's, he's, he's part of the music, part of the worship team, just does my heart good. I haven't got to see him play the drums in like eight years. Um, when he used to play it for, uh, for, he, um, anyway, he used to play it and I was just too sick and I couldn't go. And I just really broke my heart that I could never see him, um, do it. So I was very excited to be able to do it, um, to, to hear him and to be at church, just everything. And I'm going to link in the description box below um, there's a song that you might know it's called from mood Martin. It's called a bad case of loving you. And there on YouTube, he, there was a live, um, concert and that song is, was recorded and the whole, actually there's a whole CD on iTunes that you could buy. And my husband's on that whole CD, but this is free on YouTube, Bad Case of Loving You. You don't see anything. You're just going to hear it. But he's playing the drums. And then at the end, there's a drum solo. That's him. And he he was in a band with Kevin Costner, which, yeah, anywho, <laughs> that's a different story. So um, that was something that really, really, really big. And that's why it's hard to get on here frequently. You know, if I'm doing all these things, it costs me physically and I have to rest and um another really big thing a really fun thing I'm 31 minutes in was um I did go to the Hobby Lobby clearance cell I'm not going to share with you my haul because I don't want to make my sister fall and I do know that um I'm struggling with buying yarn and I'm really 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 having a hard time reining it in. I mean I've done way better than what I was, but um I'm still struggling and I don't want to make anybody else struggle and um so that's one reason why I've decided not to do I've stopped doing yarn hauls mostly and I still was doing some here and there, but I'm just not going to do them at all anymore. And, um, but I did get a go and so, um, the day I found out that they were going to mark, start marking down at two o'clock, um, when my husband woke up, I asked him if we could go there and, um, and if it could be me celebrating my birthday, I have ne now my birthday is until July. But I haven't been able to celebrate my birthday in at least seven, eight years on the day of my birthday because I'm always sick. And then we just never do it because I'm just so sick. And um, so I thought, why does it have to be on that day? Why can't this just be a celebration? And if on my birthday, we'll just, you know, I'll make myself a cake or something. But just... um just a fun way of like, okay, I'm going to get to go there. So he said, yes, he drove me there. He dropped me off. I was going to, I spent four hours there. I'll get into it. It was so worth it. He, and, um, and he just took off. And when I was ready for him to come back and get me, he picked me up. Then he took me out to dinner. We got Thai food and loved it. We've never had Thai food in Spokane. We just found it for the first time in Portland, Oregon, and we are in love. Oh, that means I get to go there Friday. I'm, oh, I hope, I hope. And so, um, yes, I spent four hours in the yarn aisle at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and I had the time of my life. You know, I am not around women. I'm not around women that love yarn. I, I, I'm just, um, I, you know, I don't know what I would do without you guys. You guys just are the biggest blessing and I wish it could be in person. And, um, so, but I'm not in person around women 
and especially yarn women. So, um, the ladies, Wendy and Elizabeth, that were marking down the yarn, one crochets, one knits. They love yarn. So I had my push wheelchair and I just sat there and on occasion we would talk. I would let them be and let them mark down. And if they engaged in conversation here and there a little bit, I would engage with them and loved every minute of it. Um, they would tell me this is, you know, what their I thought was on this yarn, that yarn and stuff. And um, I have like the worst bladder ever. And in those four hours, I had to go to the bathroom like three or four times. Seriously, they probably thought I was weird, but <laughs> um, it spasms a lot. Anyway, so they would watch my cart for me so I could go trek off to the bathroom. I had water. I had um, had water and a uh, uh, protein bar and, um, then other women would come in and I would engage them into, you know, about yarn and stuff. But the biggest highlight was, well, that was a pretty big one to chat with Elizabeth and Wendy and get to know them. Um, I got to meet a yarny friend who, lives close to this Hobby Lobby. We have been trying to meet up for two years, but she is chronically sick like me. And you know you're sick if if you have somebody on YouTube that you watch that you got close to. She's like, hey, I'm going to Hobby Lobby and you can't make it, you know, and that's what has been happening this whole time. And so, but she finally forced it, came, and I got to meet Lisa. Hi! for the first time ever and we got a yarn shop we got a talk we got a hug she asked me can I have another hug I'm like yes <laughs> it was the perfect day a perfect way to celebrate my birthday I know I don't need to celebrate my birthday I get that I'm older and we don't need to do it but I'm, you know, it's still fun on occasion to celebrate your birthday. And so I was like, you know what? On my birthday, of all the things I could do, this would be what I would want to do. But you can't, the clearance hall doesn't land on that day. So um, I got to meet a yarny friend in life, in person, and it was wonderful. And um, Lisa, I love you. I hope you're doing okay and you're not flaring horribly from that day. And um, so that's why I did the Hobby Lobby thing. And then Sunday I did, um, this is like a week, in, a week, in, like 10 days ago. Then that Sunday I went to church and right after church I went into a horrible, horrible flare. I thought I was getting sick. I didn't. Um, so, oh my goodness, 37 minutes in, I have been dying to share with you guys my Hobby Lobby experience that I'm going to church now and, um, and I'm loving it and I'm so, so excited, so excited. I have been reading the Bible every day. I haven't missed it. I don't know if I shared with you guys yet or not that, um, there is some complimentary, it's on YouTube something to help you with the Bible. It's called um, Bible Project. It's an animation and it really puts together each chapter so well. Helps you just to kind of understand everything you read or understand what you're going to read. It has, it has um, the Old Testament, the New Testament, they're like six, seven minutes long, and um, you see them just like drawing these pictures and put, putting it all in this grand picture. It shows you the grand picture, then it narrows down to the to the each um, chapter of each book and explains to you what's going on. It's wonderful, and I'm going to link that in the description box below. Even if you're not reading the Bible in the year, if you have a question about a book, in the Bible or it's just we really are enjoying it and I don't know if I've shared that I can't remember I don't have the best brain but I wanted to share it so um and if you are reading through the Bible like I am and, and like you're on Joshua like we are if you watch it you'll be like well that's really it's it's just really neat so I better get going my voice is killing me 
because I did that vlog yesterday and then I had to redo the whole thing. So yeah, yeah, that's my second time. <laughs> Um, that's it for now. I love you guys so much. I thank you for always being here for me. I thank you for being my friend. I just, I would have no friends if it wasn't for you. I would have nobody to chat with about my, um, what I'm making, what I want to make, sharing with you. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I had to share with you my life. I had to do it. I wasn't going to do it, but I love you guys so much. And I had to share it with my friends. Um, so uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me know what's on your hook. What are you working on? I'm going to try to be better with comments, but it's hard. It's hard. I'm so behind in everything. I, I'm wearing this nightgown because I ran out of clothes. I had to do laundry today. We ran out of dish towels. Um, the dishes were out of hand. Had to do them. Now I'm on here. So, and then I'm rusting between every time. So that's the only reason why I get behind. I always think I'm going to comment on every comment. But I'm just going to have to... I still haven't learned it, guys. It's been almost four years. I just need to heart it so you know I read it because I read every comment. And then somebody wanted a cat pattern, and I just didn't get a chance. I have to go looking for it. I don't readily have those available. I have to go hunt down all that stuff. But anywho, anywho, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I love you guys. I love you so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye.